Welcome back to Site Tech in your Mountain SiteWorks machine guidance videos. In this video today I'm going to show you how to use your rover and the SiteWorks programming to take some shots on the side of a sidewalk or a curb or whatever you need to to do some infill designs using the rover. Then I'm going to show you how to throw it onto a SiteWorks machine guidance um, skid steer, either a skid steer or the compact skid steer. This one, if you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've done, um, we put the sensor on a bracket on the actual quick coupler back here. So it's tied to the machine in the quick coupler and not on the back of the bucket um, to where he can switch in between a couple different attachments he has. So once again, if you're from, not familiar with the product, this is the bracket right back here. So we're going to actually shoot a quick infill design, throw it on the machine and grade it. I already do have a design for this project, and I have some grading that does happen out here behind this sidewalk. This sidewalk just got poured uh, a couple days ago, kind of cold here in Utah, so it's still covered. But I'm going to shoot an infill design, a line, right along the side of that, that sidewalk right there. And I'm going to project over, with my offset line settings, a slope just out about 50, 60 feet off to the right right here and actually grade this area on the back side right here, uh, maybe at about a 2%, maybe 3%, just a little steeper. It does have a surface in the model, but we want to adjust this area right here for some future buildings and pads that are going to go in here. So let's go ahead and shoot that real quick with the rover, and then we'll throw it in the machine and go to work. So you can see, like I said, on the project here, I already have a design. I'm just barely outside of it. But I don't need that anymore for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to my menu. And I'm going to go to project setup. And I'm going to change project. But I'm going to do a new work order. I'm going to call this the uh, sidewalk offset model. Sidewalk offset model. Hit finish. I don't need the design running in the background. In fact, I really don't even want to see the line work. So I'm just going to leave the model off. Hit accept. And then we're going to get ready to go here. So what I'm going to do to get started really quick, since I am going to surface it out with the data collector itself, is I'm going to hit my roller stuck in the mud, which is my measure type, and I'm going to go to new line, and I'm going to call this the actual edge sidewalk SW. I'm going to leave it as a break line, and I'm going to hit accept to establish the line string that I want to do, because I have advanced measurements here. I'm going to do the offset line right here, line settings. So offset, horizontal offset, there again, I'm going to do about, uh, we'll do 60 feet to give myself just a little extra. I'm going to walk this way, so I'm going to set this to the right because I want it to project to my right. And here's where the percentage is. So negative percent would be down. You can change this to different slope, rise, run, whatever you need to. But since I wanted to come up, I'm going to put in a 3%, hit accept. So here we go. So I'm just going to sit right here on the edge of my actual sidewalk that's uh, got the blankets on it, but I can still fill it. I can poke through. And I'm going to start hitting a line. I'm going to zoom down in. And as I start moving, you're going to start seeing that line to my right side. It's all the way to my right. It's 60 feet out there. No big deal. We're just going to establish a grade real quick here. We'll surface it out as a design. And then we will throw, get on the machine and go to work. The blue line is the line that I'm currently standing and walking on. The red line is that new projection to the right side. And all I needed to do was come down to about this area right here just going to grade this out right here so it's really simple as soon as you've done that just hit your menu and measure to cancel that out i got two lines right there i'm going to hit menu i'm going to go to data management surfaces design and i'm going to just call this the uh, sidewalk offset model you can name it whatever you want i always include the line work hit accept and since it's the only thing on my work order I don't need to do an outer boundary. I'm going to do outermost points. The only thing on my work order, it shoots. So there it is. But if I want to load it in here, just so I could actually check grade it here before I get in the machine, I can go here to project setup. I got to load it anyways when I get in the machine. But now my drop down bar, I have sidewalk offset model. So if I hit that and then just check maybe one spot right here, I'm sure I'm going to be just a hair low. There, I've got a fill of two tenths. So I can zoom down in on it. I can see where I'm at in the model. So now what I can do is on my cross section at the top here, I can actually see that it is a true 2% or 3% based on kind of the direction that I'm going. So if I straighten back out and actually get that dotted line, if you see that dotted line, you can actually see what the percentage is. So here, let me move this over. And in the top left, you can see if I rotate my rover, the rover rotates with that line. That's the cross section through it. So if I line that straight up, there's my true 
2.9, 3, just kind of however tight you can hold it. So I got a model, I got a fill, let's go through it on the machine and start grading. So I've been using the external antenna kit, so uh, you can just leave the antenna on the receiver if you want, but I've been using this external antenna kit to where it actually gets the antenna straight up. Just put it through the bolt right there. When you do it, have the uh, battery door out towards you and the faceplate back towards the back there. Make sure it's snug. Grab your data collector. Okay, so we're in the cab now. We put our data collector up here, but I'm still in walking mode. So I'm gonna hit this button right here to hit my mode. I'm gonna go to machine control mode and I'm gonna change this back to 84 inch bucket. That's the one that I've got on right here because he's got two different ones. So there's my 265 cat skid, 84 inch, and right here I'm gonna to connect to the IMU sensor. Once I'm connected, we're good to go, I hit accept. The only thing it's gonna have me do is just like in an excavator, if you're familiar with that system, is this IMU sensor at the top right. You have to actually um, establish that or uh, initialize it. So what I have found with the skid steers is you can't just go up and down with the boom and get it to work all the time. Sometimes you have to actually go up and down and move the machine forward and back. That's one thing that I have noticed a little different between this and the excavator. And I just don't think there's quite as much movement back there on the receiver. So once you've done that a couple times, there we go. We've got everything established right there. I can go ahead and see my model. If I move over to this one right here, I just don't have a cross section because I'm outside of it. But you can see there's plenty of model in front of me. So as soon as I step inside that, I've got an actual surface. Now this is to finish grade. This is top of concrete because that's what I shot and offset it over. If I needed to put an offset, I could, but we are good to go. So at this point, now I can just start cutting. I'm in machine control mode, um, middle of the bucket, and that black line represents um, my actual width of the bucket. And I overbuilt this model way more than I needed, but here, let's go ahead and just start cutting some of this stuff in. But as you're filling this out, you can actually just, it's not guidance to where it's actually going to control the machine. It's more just what grade is. So you can come out, set it down, put your blade tip down, be like, okay, I got to fill a three, so I'm just a hair high. So really just understanding how to use it as just kind of an expensive grade rod is really the best way to do it, in my opinion. So there I just trimmed off just about, you know, about a tenth, just kind of eyeballed it. And then I can just go out and set back down and see how close I am to grade. So right there, I'm within basically two hundredths. Three hundredths is kind of bouncing a little bit. So then that point, just grab some more material, push it out there, just like this. Grab a little bit more material, kind of eyeball that same grade. Just run the skid like you would any other time. But now, instead of just kind of eyeballing stuff and hoping and checking and getting out with a laser, now you can just trim stuff up and come right to the very end right here touch down and be like, all right, there, I'm about a fill of maybe seven uns, eight uns. Either way, hopefully this video helps uh, from Site Techner Mountain on the new SiteWorks machine guides for skid steers and how to build your own infill design from either the rover and then put it in here, or if you didn't feel like you, could, you were gonna break the concrete or you had something that was a less delicate, you could literally make that line string from inside the machine. You could actually switch this to the left side you could go over there, do the line string, new line, and basically build the model from inside the machine. The, it's all about thinking outside the box, like I've always said. Uh, think about inside the box first as to what you have in front of you uh, and what it's capable of, and then think outside the box as to what works best for you on the job site. So thanks for watching this video from Site Techner Mountain.